better seen in normal attire until he meows. I listen. What you say, Cat from? Oh, Belfast. Just crucial information indeed. Hold on, let me get it. You seem a bit upset. Do you not like the rain? Get in, get in! Things must be tough for you. Why are you at yourself like that? Stop pacing around, you're making me... Hissing at the door like she shit. shit, it's the men in the coat and the hats. I'm no fool, I know when I'm being observed, I know the who, what, when, and how. You're not slick, not one bit. I dare you to say otherwise, I know I'm real. It's Mrs. Kearney from next door. <sighs> Poor lass. Going up them stairs at her age like this. It's like she's been trained or something. I know. Could you pipe down? Stop rabbiting on about Belfast, you northern prick! Yes, I'm very sorry. Shouldn't have shouted like that. idea what day-to-day -day life under the crown is like and the struggles for freedom from British hypocrisy and the isolation from one's own country and the folk over there only knowing us as them across the border. Gosh, daily bombings on the telly and it might as well be in Mexico. That's how far away it feels. Too close to even comprehend. And yet, so far away, so far from where I live and breathe and fight and scrap and eat and fear and love and hate, from where my being happens. What do you want to do now? Watch a bit of telly? 
What you in the mood for? Hey, you'll give me no peace with that on the telly. Let's just watch Challenging Times. I always get these right. Wake up, you lazy fuck! I'm sick of you. You used to be so about the place, with a pep in your step. And now look at you, you've no energy! It's making me depressed! I know you've been through a lot of struggles. But you have to get over that. Get yourself together. Clap yourself on, like. Or else I'll throw you out the fucking balcony back to the shit. Is it me? Did I? Do something wrong. So it's silence you want. I can do that too. Say something! Oh, you're worse than my bloody mother. Moping and moping on that chair. Yes, you're in a coma, but like, have a bit of life around you, woman. You're not. You weren't dead yet. I'm sorry. I've just been. I've just been very stressed lately. Don't you go shouting at me too. You are just a sad little prick. Moving about the place like nobody's business, getting emotional over nothing. It's not right, a wee thing like you having that much energy. Would you calm down, please? Thank you. Thank you. Finally. Listen, my mind is spinning from all that moving. Here, did you get anything good in the shop today? I'm starving. Love apples, apple tarts, apple drinks, apple
apple lollies, apple teenies. Fuck you! <laughs> They're gorgeous, you cunt. You're just angry because you wouldn't have the balls to order that up in Rowland. You wouldn't order anything except bitters or ale or some shit that tastes like liquid coins, shit and salt. Fuck, that's brass, pretty shite! Lovely, Dad. It's a shame there's nothing for you. What do you eat anyway? That was a good impression. Any normal person would have laughed at that. I don't be thick. Laugh at it, you dull Johnny prick, or there'll be no food for you. There's none to give you, but that's not the point. So was Deirdre working today? I know what you're insinuating, you dirty feline, yeah, but it's not like that. Nah, she's not coming. She wouldn't like that behind the bins down the knickers crack. She's special. Heavenly. The way she says, good morning, gunk. Anything from the shop today? Would you like a bag? Will that be all for today? Don't you dare mention her lazy eye. It's a birth defect. She can't help it. Oh, you are just a spoiled, rotten prick. Do you know that? I've had enough of you. I've had enough of you. If you mention her raising eye again, I'll knife you. I will. Cat? Where are you? You're not still mad at me, are you? Don't be hiding on me now, just come out. Listen, I'm too tired for this. Please just come out. 
Are you there at your usual haunt time? That's definitely gonna scare. Am I that bad to live with? That doll and that vulgar. Like, you act like I'm the animal. You're just a cat. And you can go fuck yourself. Just a cat. Plain Jane, simple Sally cat. That's all there is to you. I don't know, maybe that's not the worst thing to be. Easily digested and understandable. People love the side of you. People don't like me. And it's worse because it's people I know. Mrs. Keeney next door gives me death glares. Meet her in the hallway. I heard her say to Miss Jacobson once. That I gave her the chills. Like, what's chilly about me? I asked you a question, bucko. Great. Silent. You're just like the woman in there, huh? Silent until only hurt comes out. Well, fuck you then. Cats are supposed to be nice. Mothers are supposed to be nice. She was supposed to love me. I was good and she was supposed to be Why was I hers when I could have been anybody else's? If things were fair, I could have chosen a different one. And she would have loved me just to have me. And she would have understood the kind of soul I had. Souls that have been made of the same stuff. But the one I had, the soul was barely there. It was cruel to be given such a mother. And sure, she fed me, clothed me, never once hit me. I was like, I was like a doll to her. I was just less interesting, I guess. And she kept me alive, but I was part dead. And she never cared about that part. And she got sick and I had to care for this woman who never once cared for me. And she would just sit there on the sofa and smoke and 
watch the dramas of other people's lives on the telly and she was just barely alive. And I was so full of life. And the smoking. No wonder this place stinks so much. And why it's such a pigsty. There's always something off about it. Never looked like the homes on the telly. But it's too late in the day to do anything about it now. All the shops are closed. Tomorrow, though. Tomorrow could be a good day for it. Add some brightness to the place. She wouldn't have liked it, but sure. It's my house too. And she always had a limited capacity for caring, even about the house. Aurelian? Or Cadmium? Whatever's cheapest. Sure, what do I care? You always get such notions in you. I'm busy. Now I had to care for someone who never really cared for me. And she was this barely alive thing in the bed. But I was so full of life. Her face was just empty. All meaning and knowledge of her own existence. And no feeling. Like it, her true nature spelled out all over her face and her body. Finally. I don't think you're actually Northern. I think you lied. You've been lying to me since the day we met. all the way from Belfast. It just so happened to come into my apartment on the night I forgot to take my med. What? Well, isn't that interesting? I'm not mad. I no longer choose to believe that the cash is real. It's just a figment of my imagination. You're just a coup in my mind. You're adding some flavor to the overboiling pot of soup. Hot, hot, hot. Sure, sure, I knew it. I knew it. I knew there was something going on. I, I smelled. I smelled it. As soon as I saw the camera watching, watching, there's nothing to see. There's, there's nothing to see. It's, it's, it's just me and a cat from Belfast. Just a cat from. No.
てるのでそれ。